And here we go. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. Tell us all about the finer points of living and traveling. Food, beer, history, nature, quest. Every corner of the sun to the great Midwest. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. Top of the morning, afternoon or evening, my friends. Mr. Nomad Ben here today. So sadly, we didn't go to Nashville this particular month so far, but I wanted to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with you guys today. I'm feeling a little better today. Family's feeling better. So I wanted to do this particular vlog to celebrate St. Patrick's Day today. St. Patrick's Day is a time of celebration, not just the arrival of Christianity in the Irish nation, but just to celebrate Ireland and uh, Irish heritage itself. Hopefully got some green on today, or at least something to represent the Irish heritage. I got my Luck of the Irish t-shirt, because I definitely need the Luck of the Irish. Everyone's a little Irish on St. Patrick's Day, but I actually have a little Irish heritage myself. Today, we're just going to hang here at my house. We're going to do a little bit of cooking today on my grill, with a little help of my favorite beer of all time. That happens to be the most Irish beer of all time, Guinness. And we're going to do a little cooking with Guinness today. I'm inviting you guys to come. Let's do some cooking and let's enjoy an Irish Guinness type meal today. And here we go. So on the menu today, we are going to make a Guinness marinated steak. Got my Guinness poured into a bowl with my secret blend of spices. And got my New York strip steak here. I poked some holes all throughout the steak. So I got my spices in the mix. So we got to go ahead and whisk it up so the spices can at least get mixed in. And after that, go ahead and put the steak in here. Put a lid on it and let this baby marinate for like 30 minutes to an hour. It's a very beautiful day today outside and my wind chimes are going off. So mind you that this is not a gluten friendly particular steak because beer has gluten in it. And if you have a gluten intolerance, this may not be the kind of meal for you. I learned my lesson the hard way, even though I've always known beer has wheat, wheat has gluten in it. And my wife has a gluten intolerance. It just didn't come clear to me, or I didn't even think about it when I made this particular steak for her a couple of years back. And when I made this, she got sick after a couple of bites. And I was wondering, why are you sick? You were feeling fine like a couple hours ago, and you're feeling sick right now. She goes, you made a glutinous type steak. So I was like, oh man. So I made a mistake doing that. <laughs> So, um, now that the steak is marinating, I'm going to go ahead and make twice-baked potato skins. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these potatoes and put it in the microwave for a period of time. While the potato's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and fry up some of this bacon. That bacon is looking nice and crispy now. Now that the bacon's fried, the potatoes baked, I'm gonna go ahead and mix all the ingredients into this bowl. So I gutted the potatoes, at least kept the skins, and I put it in this bowl, mix it with some bacon, sour cream, cheddar cheese, and some chives. Let's go ahead and mix it up. The mix is ready to be put in the potatoes. These babies are ready to go into the oven. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes. So while those potato skins are baking, let's go get the grill fired up because the steak is ready to be cooked. Now that the grill is nice and hot, let's go ahead and get the steak onto the grill. All right, how about a little indirect heat? Look at the grill marks on this baby. A little indirect heat time. Let's go ahead and check on the steak. I think the steak is just about done. Now that my steak is done, let's go check on them taters. They are looking good. And I think they're ready to eat. Anytime I think of potatoes, I think of the time in The Lord of the Rings when Sam and Gollum were making that stew with the rabbits that Gollum killed. And then Sam goes, all we need is a few good taters. Then Gollum goes, What's taters, precious? What's taters, eh? Sam goes, Potatoes? You boil them, mash them, stick them in the stew? <laughs> well, you know it's a beautiful day out, so I think I want to eat outside. And here it is, my friends. A Guinness-flavored marinated steak alongside with twice-baked potato skins and a pint of Guinness to go with it. Let's go ahead and indulge in this steak, shall we? Bon appetit. Mmm. Steak came out very good. It's medium well. And I think with the kind of thing with the Guinness, along with the secret spices I put in, came out perfectly with the well cooked steak. Happy St. Patrick's Day, my friends. Cheers. I'm gonna finally try my first time actually. I never made twice baked potato skins by myself before. You know, the, yeah, the package is from TGI Fridays, but the first time I actually made potato skins myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Here's the skin in the middle I made. Oh man. That's very delicious. I'm gonna add a little potato and steak together. My St. Patrick's Day is complete. Well, friends, if you guys enjoyed this particular video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It shows that you cared and you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Eat well, my friends. And always keep your mind walking. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, friends, Mr. Nomad Ben here from the future. Well, kind of, because I shot this on actual St. Patrick's Day. I got home from work, made myself some potato skins from TGI Friday's Frozen alongside with a pint of Guinness. So I wanted to address something with you guys. So um, I wanted to take a mid-season break at some point. I was hoping it could be at the end of April or early May. But I had some things that came up, especially during this month of March. It's been, it's been pretty crazy. So because obviously I had to cancel my national trip very last minute. And other things have happened. I'm going to remain private. So... My life has turned a complete 180 this complete month of March, so I am going to take a mid-season break now uh, for the next couple of weeks. 
and we'll enter into April. We're going to resume the season from there. So I'm still going to probably post during my mid-season break. Uh, I would like to maybe edit some shorts from my previous episodes and post it to you guys. So have a little fun with them editing and post them on my channel. But I want to take a little bit of a break to spend some time with my family. And I'm going to Texas in a couple of weeks. Uh, my beautiful sister is finally getting married. And I can't promise I could vlog anything out in Texas because I'm going to be... I uh, only stayed in one spot in Texas, and I won't have a car while I'm out there. So if I have an opportunity to block something, I might just do it. But it might actually just be a uh, a photo sode on Instagram. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, make sure you do, because there might be some things that I post. It could be food or beers or a quick place I might go to if I have time to go to Austin. So I can't promise you guys anything if I have a Texas episode. But if I can get away for a little bit to explore a little bit of Texas, I'm going to try. But I can't promise you. If I don't post anything or no vlog or nothing on my Instagram, it's just because it didn't work out. But my time out there is just kind of precious. So, um, again, I, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and spend some time with my family between now and my trip to Texas. And, and then, of course, Easter break is coming about the week after that, the first weekend of April. So... More than likely after Easter, I would plan to get back on track to give you guys new content and move forward from there and make sure that my trip to Nashville will happen hopefully sometime in the month of April or at least no later into May. So um, again, I thank you guys for being patient for the Nashville trip. I can't wait to eat that incredibly hot chicken for you guys. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this particular video. Again, uh, like I said previously, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It shows that you care and you enjoy yourself. And be sure you hit that notification bell. It'll keep you in the loop of future uploads onto my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys in a few weeks. And please, enjoy episodes that I have posted. I have a whole season's worth of shows of last year. And food reviews, historical adventures, lake adventures, beautiful sunsets, you name it. Check it out. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Enjoy my channel for the time being. Sayonara, my friends. Eat well. Always keep your mind walking. I'll see you guys very soon.